Yo, what's good guys? I hope you all had a wonderful day and today I'm going to show you the top 10 best ways how to prevent your Fortnite from crashing. It's super easy guys, all the steps are really basic explained, nothing too complicated, no PC knowledge needed. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, this would help me out tons. Thank you again for 3.3k subscribers, absolutely amazing and let's get straight into today's topic. And yeah guys, for the first step, all I want to do is go into your Windows search bar, type in presenter, temp presenter and open the first folder which shows up, which is called temp. And those are all some temporary files Windows is saving all the time and you should definitely make sure to delete those because each time Windows is pretty much remembering what happened in the last few days or weeks on your PC and each time when you're playing this folder is getting loaded up in the background and this can just casually cause some issues so always make sure to clean the temp folder and delete all the files and this is it pretty much for the first step and for the next step all I want to do is again go into your Windows search bar and type in game and the first setting which should pop up is called game mode settings which is a built-in system feature of Windows 10 and as it says in the description when game mode is on Windows optimizes your PC for play so it's gonna put more focus on your gaming experience and reaching higher FPS and a more stable game overall so always make sure that the game mode is turned on and this is it for the second step and yeah guys, for this next step, all I wanted to do is go on the official NVIDIA website and download the latest NVIDIA drivers depending on which graphics card you're rocking. If you're on the AMD side, do exactly the same thing for AMD. There's no real difference here between those steps. And then just simply open up your NVIDIA GeForce experience and once it's loaded up, it's gonna detect all the games you've got installed on your PC. And then just simply look on the top left corner and click on drivers and always make sure to stay up to date so click on check for updates and as you can see i've also got a driver update here which i still need to install so i'm going to do that in a second and especially since nvidia and fortnite are working so close together this is really beneficial guys because the next big nvidia update can fix all of your issues if you've been experiencing some and yeah guys the next step is going to be more of a tip pretty much what i will recommend you is while you're playing fortnite try to put the least amount of pressure onto your system which means unplug a second monitor if possible unplug some unnecessarily usb devices whatsoever because fortnite is really bad optimized and it's working really bad with windows together and especially if you're alt tabbing all the time or switching over to a second monitor the chance is really high that fortnite might just simply crash it is just what it is boys and yeah just try to close all the applications in the background which are unnecessarily if you still got your editing software open close it if you've got spotify open close it especially google chrome since it takes tons of ram and fortnite needs a lot of ram guys trust me and yeah those are just some special recommendations there try to really minimize the system pressure to literally the lowest amount possible if you've got anything other than discord and fortnite open the chances might be already higher that your game might just randomly crash during a cup during a competition box fights whatsoever and yeah those are just some special tips there and once you're done with that all i want to do is go again into your windows search bar and type in presenter temp presenter and go back one folder pretty much here on this top bar and then again search up for your Fortnite game saved and you should find a file which is called crashes and as you can see my file is always empty because I always like delete this every maybe like one to two weeks because Fortnite is each time going to look at this folder when it's loaded up and yeah it's just gonna cause some issues guys so always make sure to keep this folder 100% empty and yeah you're good to go quick info guys from now on i'm going to do random subscriber giveaways so i'm just gonna pick a sub from my subscribers list and give him maybe a fortnite skin an amazon gift card a passive card whatsoever so if you want to have a chance to participate in these giveaways just make sure to stay subscribed and let's continue with the video the next step right here is probably the most simple one all you guys need to do is go into your epic games folder click on this three dots here and click on verify and what this is going to do your PC is going to browse through your entire Fortnite folder and check if any files are missing, if any files are corrupted whatsoever. And if it is so, it's going to replace them instantly and your game should be good to go. If you're after that still experiencing some kind of issues with your Fortnite game, all you can do sadly is then reinstall the whole entire game and this is it for this step. And yeah guys, this next step is going to be beneficial for all the people who've been experiencing some game crashes after maybe like two to three hours let's say you've been playing for two to three hours and your fortnite out of nowhere crashes freezes whatsoever and you gotta reset your pc normally then and it should work again but this program prevents it um all you need to do after like one to two hours run this program once and wipe your whole entire ram memory and i don't want to go too in deep with how memory works ram but um it's gonna remember all the actions you did on your pc while it was running so it's always gonna have like i don't know some storage there 
and it knows exactly, okay, if I click on the Epic Games logo, the Epic Games launcher should start. That's like really basically explained. And all these actions are saved on your RAM. And with this program, if you empty all of these here, um, the working sets, the system working set, the modify page list, the standby list, and the priority zero standby list, you're gonna wipe this whole entire storage. I don't know how to call it. And yeah, it's gonna refresh your system and you don't need to restart it and your Fortnite should be good to go for the next one to two hours to play. And for one of the last steps, I want to talk about the allow multi-thread rendering setting in Fortnite. Since I've got a feeling that a lot of people misunderstood this, especially on the low budget side of PCs, let's say you're running like a laptop or office PC, and tons of people actually turn this on and they wonder, yo, why am I FPS so inconsistent? Let me explain real quick to you guys. A multi-thread rendering CPU is a CPU with at least four cores and four threads. If you're running a dual core CPU, you're not gonna benefit from this option, so definitely make sure to turn it off. And even some four, four core, four thread CPUs um, don't benefit from it. So it really depends. You should usually have like a CPU with at least like six cores, six threads, eight cores, eight threads, and yeah, then it's gonna actually bring you something more um, than just the FPS lost. And this should just be like a quick side info. And let's move over to the next step. And for the next step guys, it's also super important to always keep your windows up to date. So what I want you to do is literally just search up windows in your windows search bar and it should say windows update settings and simply click on it and check for updates. As you can see, I already checked this a hundred percent, not because I had needed to record this like maybe two or three times. No, that's obviously not the point here. Um, yeah, your windows is just going to be checked for updates. If you can see anything here, then just install it or it's going to get automatically installed. And this is the easiest way how to prevent any game crashes whatsoever, because an updated windows version will also always update your game files and especially the new game service, which is on windows. So yeah, just make sure this is always up to date. And as you can see here, last time checked right now, everything seems fine. And yeah, if you've got any red crosses whatsoever here, just make sure to install the new update and you're good to go. And as the last piece of advice I can give you guys, please reinstall your Windows every half year. I know this seems like a tons of work to someone, but if you think about it, it's six months, guys, come on. And you're just gonna prevent that Windows has any temporary files that you can't really delete um, on your hard drive. And yeah, you know, it's just gonna slow down your Windows, it's gonna um, cause some issues while gaming, and oh well, it's just way, way healthier for your Windows to be reinstalled every six months because all the issues you've got in your Windows that you can't really fix. I don't know, you might be running into some issues, some high RAM usage, high CPU usage, whatsoever. This is all gonna get removed with that. And yeah, just pretty much make sure to reinstall your Windows every six months. It's not that hard and you always get a fresh copy, which assures that your games are running at a fullest potential at 100% always. And this is it for the last step. And yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video and it was indeed helpful for you, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment since this would help me out so, so much guys. I'm out here every single day putting in the work for, to deliver daily Fortnite content for you or content overall on YouTube. And yeah, if you still have any more questions left over, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section. And until next time, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. I'm out, stay awesome, peace. I might pull up to your party Keep a glizzy on me just in case he try to rob me Perky in my system got me feeling kinda nauseous My bitch way too pretty out here looking like a Barbie